Hello, it's Bruce with an Aerial Viewpoint, and this is Saturday, March 13th, and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning, so it's a bright sunny day, not much wind, and we got a few more fishermen down on the Sandusky River for the walleye run. Trying to decide, do I go under the wires or over the wires? I guess we'll go over. Haven't seen any reports today. I imagine water temperature should be up better. And hopefully we'll start seeing people with stringer fulls of fish. I believe our limit this year is six per day, or six on you. I'm not sure how that works. A few people have little campfires going. Not as many waiter guys out here today as normal, but I do notice see the uh, the bars right there, the sandbars. Uh, river has changed right in here a little bit, quite a bit more silt piling in. Uh, when I do a return flight here, I'm going to go up high so you can see down to the bottom of the river, and it might help you guys are picking out a spot to fish. As I say before, every time I come down here, I, I never get any luck filming somebody catching one. You see that sandbar right here is actually tipping out of the water now. I don't remember that always being there. Still not full season running yet because it would be shoulder to shoulder down through here right now is it's good spacing between everybody and hop over the bridge and see how the rapid area is doing here find a spot so I don't fly over top of the people got a few more along the shore here one thing I did notice besides the pigeons bombing me They don't like my drone. Uh, the rapids here, it seems like there's not too much area for the fish to swim on upstream. That's all low. And I guess along this edge here, there's open water enough for them to come through. Trying to see if I can see any stringers with fish on them, but I don't really see that. Go up over the train trestle here. Quite a few fish in the rapids area in here, too. Wow. 
water is very clear today. So I really can look down and pretty well see the bottom, a lot of spots. Now it'd be great if I could see the fish swimming. Not quite that lucky, I don't think. Said for a Saturday, our numbers are nowhere near peak season, but people are wanting to get out of the house, and it's a beautiful day to come down here and fish. Over by the parks. I don't think there's too much yet going on. A couple waiters out here. And as I can see, we can see right down to the bottom. Now for any out-of-towners, this is one of the good parking spots. That is Hayes Avenue or Route 6. It's the Miles Newton Bridge. And it's a, a nice spot to free parking and it's all fishermen in there usually now let's from this height we can see right down to the bottom and for you fishermen that gives you a good idea where to go you can see the shallow spots all through there now we're going to just buzz up downstream here and let you look at the bottom here A lot of this is the silt from the dam area, I believe, that has kind of filled in down through here. And it will move on as we get high water flood times, which spring is coming, so I'm sure we're going to be getting some big rains. I'm trying to zoom in to see if we could really see that bottom close. If this continues like this I'm gonna to to devote one long flight of hovering and watching for fish very surprised at how clear the water is used to be bringing the boats up through here now from here on it's getting deeper and now we're in the deep water pretty much coming up to the State Street Bridge and nobody's fishing down below there yet We'll pivot around for downtown, and I'll thank you for watching, and we might be back here tomorrow if the weather's nice, see if any changes have gone on. So thanks again.